Hi, welcome to another video. So it turns out I was wrong. The $100 budget PC does play Fortnite. Somebody suggested I upgrade the graphics card drivers and it worked. Keep in mind though, Fortnite takes up a lot of space. So the 100 gigabyte SSD pretty much took up all the space. I had to delete pretty much everything else. So if you guys are gonna do a budget build, I suggest a really big SSD or hard drive. Now to the game testing. First game I tested was Injustice. Turns out it was free at the Steam store for the month, even at PS4, so I downloaded it and tried it. So 720p, FPS 18 to 21. Really fun game, pretty cool story too if you're into superheroes. I wanted to change it up, so I wanted to, you know, try a different game for once. So I'm gonna see if I can do a variety of games in the future for other stuff. Next is our Fortnite test, of course. Motion blur is off, everything's set to low. I let it set it on its own. So 720p at 15 to 21 FPS. Uh, it's actually pretty playable. So I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like hammering stuff, trying to build something. But uh, it's kind of fun. And then next, I wanted to try Roblox, so somebody wanted me to try it. So it opens through the Edge browser, I guess. 18 to 21 FPS. Um, I don't think the um, resolution really matters since it's through the browser, but um, there's a lot of Roblox games, by the way, so I didn't know what to pick. And then, just in case, I went back to Fortnite again, this time 1080p, because I'm sure somebody's going to ask. This time it was 10 to 15 FPS, low settings. So it's actually not too bad in terms of 1080p or 720. I do recommend 720 for a smoother FPS. Next, Ultimate Chicken Horse at 50 to 60 FPS. So I tried playing with other people just to see um, how much it, it would affect the FPS. Because my last test, I was just doing a single player. So I figured with more players, it would affect the FPS. So 50 to 60, still pretty good. And of course, I had to go back to Counter-Strike. This time, CSGO at 720p. FPS wise, about 14 to 17. It can reach up to like 19 and 20 FPS as well. But on average, I would have to say this is averaging at 14 to 17 FPS for sure. So if you guys saw my other video, like I said, the 1080p um, test on this was really low, like 7 to 11 FPS. So that it's very difficult to play this game with that type of FPS. At 720, definitely playable. So pretty fun. Um, in the future, I try to change it up and test other games. But of course, I'll include Fortnite, so that means I'm going to have to start using bigger SSDs. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.